Their turn to Oscars coverage. The 95th Academy Awards happening in only two days. That's right. Mark S. Allen arrived there yesterday. He has been getting all set up, and he has a look at the eight movies up now for Best Picture. He is live now from what I believe to be very rainy Los Angeles. You are near or adjacent to the red carpet. Yes, sir? Yeah, pretty much on the red carpet. This is the bin. They'll walk the length of Hollywood Boulevard, which is wrapping around this corner. Uh, then they'll arrive at the main stage, which is where you see the giant Oscar. Uh, behind me are the steps going into the Dolby Theater, where you see those bright lights. That would be Good Morning America taking place right here, right now. All right, coming up, how you can win an iPhone and all kinds of other stuff. But who's winning that best picture? Here are my predictions. Here are the 10 nominees for best motion picture of the year. And there they are, the top contenders for movie of the year. So say the Academy and the odds on favorite to win is... I am really good. Everything, everywhere, all at once. The story of an aging Chinese immigrant swept up by an insane adventure where she alone can save the world by exploring other universes connecting with the lives that she could have led. I had to see it like five times just to understand what I said there. Very busy today, a uh, whole time to help you. Currently, it's the odds on to win. Does this make things clearer to you? Not really, no. If not everything everywhere, the Irish thunder that is, Banshees of Inisherin, it and everything everywhere are truly neck and neck. You're kind of headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir, but not today. Top Gun Maverick, one of two blockbusters to sneak into the list. The movie stood on the anti-chemistry of Tom Cruise and Miles Teller, son of the ill-fated goose from the original. Miles praised the real-life superhuman work ethic of Tom Cruise. You know, people say there's only 24 hours in a day, and I don't think that's true for Tom. I think it's just constant energy. Family, art, it'll tear you in two. Steven Spielberg's deeply personal movie, The Fablemans, so close to his own life it should have been called The Spielbergs, is brilliant in all the Spielberg ways, but perhaps too close to home to win. My mother wanted not that I in the war. All Quiet on the Western Front is the only German-language film to be nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. It's the third most nominated non-English-language film in Oscar history, behind only Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and Roma. You cannot start without me. There's no doubt Kate Blanchett will win Best Actress for Tar, but the movie of a bigger-than-life conductor falling from grace will not make it past the crescendo of nomination. Why holler at the Wiggles? Baz Luhrmann's Elvis is another perfect in every way movie, but the nomination for the film is the win. Yes, that's the beauty of it. And though there was a time when James Cameron said, I'm the king of the world! Avatar, The Way of the Water will not be seated on the Best Picture throne. Find out who wins what Sunday, March 12th, only on ABC 10. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And yeah, as much as I'd like to see a popular movie like Top Gun win, I don't think it's going to win. That hasn't happened since Titanic won all those decades ago. The longest running feature nominated at 192 minutes would be Avatar. And historically, the longest movie ever to win is still Gone with the Wind at 238 minutes. How it's going to shake out Sunday? Still thinking it's going to be everything, everywhere, all at once, especially based on what happened last weekend. But you'll have to find out Sunday. Also, you're going to be winning a brand new iPhone. We'll tell you more about that. In the meantime, I'm going to step back into the moist L.A. Hollywood weather that I'm told is going to clear up for Sunday. Back to you. Well, all right. Uh, I, we always wondered if the storm Hello. was stretching all the way down, and apparently it is. Marcus Allen with a, with a little weather hit for us. Mark, thank you.